everyone and happy Halloween, right? I have to be honest with this episode, it has just been an absolute mess. I just cannot get it to work for the life of us. My intention was to create this massive kind of carved pumpkin tower and I had everything planned out, everything sounded amazing, in my head it looked fantastic and it just hasn't worked, like it's just, oh. <laughs> It's gone so bad. It's gone so wrong. It's probably why I look so disheveled and stressed and chewed. But I'll take you into the studio. I'll show you what I have done, what I've been able to do, and kind of the solution to what I was supposed to do in the first place. And if you wanted to make my original kind of idea, what I think you need to do in order to do it. I've just run out of time and... I've run out of patience and I'm just just sick of it. I'm sick of it, completely sick of it. So I'll, t I'll take you in there and I'll show you what I've done and and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a chat. <laughs> right, my idea was to create this, obviously this massive pumpkin tower and what happened was basically I managed to get about I got about seven high and then everything came crashing down into my bookcase and smashed a few things. I wish I'd got it on camera. Um, it's something I don't want to repeat because I'm <laughs> so angry. Um, but yeah, so basically what's gone wrong is this. So for a start, I cheaped out and I bought like a little flimsy bit of plastic instead of a proper metal pole so there's absolutely no support in it it is really wonky and wobbly and terrible so if you're going to do this get a decent pole then the second mistake I made was I created a base with just three little tiny MDF circles and it had no weight in it it couldn't support it and it just toppled over so if you're going to do something like this, make sure you get a decent base, a concrete base, a stone base, a bag of sand, something better than three little poxy bits of wood. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm so annoyed. And then I had a fantastic idea because obviously I knew this wasn't going to work. I was like, oh well, there's a pole here. I've got a curtain pole over there. I'll attach a piece of string to the curtain pole, hook it over here to support the tower. And what that ended up doing is, because it was so heavy, where the string was on the curtain, it dragged it over towards the bookcase, and that's how it ended up falling down in the first place. Oh, so just everything was wrong, everything went completely wrong with this, but there is a small solution you can do and you can make some smaller towers and you don't need any of this kind of support and crap if you don't want it so i'll show you how to do that now okay so with this one i can get about four pumpkins high and any more than that and it'll just topple over so i would recommend just going four high and all all you need to do um is obviously get your pumpkin carved you want to carve your top off, but be really generous with the top. And you want to carve like a bottom off as well, so obviously you can see through it. And then it just gives it that stability that it needs to support one another. And, and then you can just stack them and balance them without having to fanny on with any of that crap that I did before. Like that and you can do it like that and um, they're still not particularly great like if it's a windy day or any kids or anything knock into it it will fall over easily really easily so I would recommend some sort of support inside but I just don't know I'm just like I just can't be asked anymore I'm so chewed I'm so stressed so yeah unfortunately this didn't go how I wanted it to go. It was going to be really amazing. Imagine this one on top of that one and it's going to be huge and crazy. I was going to even have another pumpkin but um, one of them had rotted inside so it was all like furry and soft and gross. 
So that should have been an indication of what was to come, but never mind. But yeah, so unfortunately things go wrong. This didn't go how I wanted it to, but here is kind of a solution that you can do if you want some little mini pumpkin towers dotted around your garden or something. You could probably get one of them sticks and just kind of skewer it into the ground um, if you wanted to, but I don't know whether I'm probably the right person to ask these things because I clearly can't do one myself, so I don't know. I'm very pissed off. I'm so angry. The thing is, there's nothing worse when you have an amazing idea and you know it's amazing, like you can see it in your head and it's, it's fantastic. And then it's just absolutely sh**. Ah. But no. Never mind. And another issue that you're going to have that I've just realised now is when you come to put candles inside of the pumpkins, because you've carved all the bottoms out, there's nowhere to put the candles. <laughs> it's just my life. So, just put a lot in the bottom and then hope for the best. Luckily with that one, I still had some space to put some extra ones in. With this one, I've completely gutted it. So I've just had to pile a ton of candles in and hope for the best. But I can imagine at night time, they will hopefully look quite nice. Um, so yeah, that's one thing to think about. Make sure to leave yourself some room to put candles in. Unlike me, like I just, oh. But there we have it, that's, my second day of Halloween, kind of done, even though everything went wrong. I've got pumpkin in my mouth. But hopefully you know what not to do if you want to make some pumpkin towers. And yeah, just learn from my mistakes, I suppose. Things don't always go the way you want it to go, so there's that. But I hope you do have an absolutely lovely Halloween. I hope you've enjoyed this video, even though... I'm it's probably really naff. I won't find out until I edit it, but I, I did want to do a two-day special, and I'm determined to do a two-day special, and this is the second day, and this is what you get. But hopefully these won't burn down my studio either, because there's a lot of flames underneath them. I do have a lot of aerosols and resin and whatnot, so I don't know whether I'd recommend this inside your home. But if you did enjoy this video, or you just really feel sorry for us, then make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it does help out. And I hope you have a lovely Halloween and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!